<laughs> Come in, Josh. Hi, I'm Sharon from Wood Entertainment, and this is our beautiful crib on wheels. Well, most of the day uh, we're actually in the venue because most venues we're playing at, they're pretty cool actually, also inside, really uh, very comfortable to be at. Um, after the show, we of course come back here and it's like our daily backstage. Just chilling out, uh, watching some movies on television. We have all kinds of, uh, well, audio equipment over there, uh, even very old-fashioned ones. Yeah, there's even a cassette deck. <laughs> so all the kids are going, what is a cassette deck? <laughs> Very, very historical instruments, yeah, well, uh, equipment, I must say. Well, we got the food, which is very important, of course. You can't, um, can't be without it, especially the, the fruit and everything. The day sheets, when we get, have to get in, how we made the lunches and stuff like that. Very important, although I must say I get to watch sometimes, so I'm often very late. This is the fridge. Besides the wine and the beers, of course, which is very, very important for most musicians. Like for me, it's very important to have tomato juice. I just love tomato juice. It's very because on the road, I don't always get the healthy stuff. So tomato juice is like a substitute uh, for everything that's healthy <laughs> and gets me going. And ginger, which is very good for the throat. If you're singing, that's maybe a good thing to follow up. We're really into the health stuff because otherwise we can't get through the whole tour. I love uh, tuna, tuna salads and those kind of things. All with a nice glass of wine, red wine, so. Freezer. I think there's ice cream and stuff like that. Oh God, what's even? Fruit. I probably didn't have much space enough. There's so much going on here. And the lollipops. Ice cream, lollipops, hamburgers. You want to know where our booze is? Well, you know, downstairs. Underneath our feet, it's full of it, like beers and stuff like that. We got so much, it, we put it downstairs. We've got a few bottles in here, like these, and then there's more behind the chips. Just stashed away. We got some nice wine, of course, like I said before. They're in here, like here they are. And there is not another bottle, but there's not enough space, as you can see. So we have to uh, put it everywhere. We have got our secret cabinets for our booze. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing particularly mine, but you know, because we have um, our tour manager, anything about food, he knows. He's like this gourmet kind of guy, he loves food. He's always, one thing is most most important thing in his life is his food. So he always buys, buys the right, right stuff. He buys everything from A to Z. And there's always something that we all like. So it's like, uh, and he just, that's his biggest passion. So uh, we're all we're in good care with him. <laughs> Let me show you the rest of them. Throw us. These are the beds. This is mine. I made it clean and nice looking, of course. <laughs> uh, so no clothes in there anymore. I got my book, which is very important. I take these with me. They look very small, but they're very thin letters and very thin pages. Where is it? Here. 627 pages. So, didn't have a dull moment yet. This is the second part of the lounge. Uh, the second lounge, actually, we have another television, another another audio set, a lot of stuff, stuff underneath because you know there's not enough space for everybody. And clothes are mostly going into here. It's now empty because they're all in the venue, probably mostly. This is my one of my dresses I'm gonna wear on stage tonight. Already got it out. Ta that's my passion, actually. <laughs> Beautiful clothes, especially for stage. They're very important. My Dr. Martens. Got a lot of them. I think at least 24 pairs. <laughs> Different color, sizes, everything. With heels, without heels. Sneakers, even, because they got everything. Uh, there's not much difference between the front lines and the back lines, but it's more like uh, mostly when you do sit here, it's more relaxed because they're always talking and we are all more, it's more chill here. It's more. You want to read a book, you do it down, do it here. And there, there's the food. Everybody's making a sandwich, just other stuff, you know. The guys are watching Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> we all have um, Netflix actually uh, with us from Europe. We have way more on Netflix here than we have in Europe. So it's like ah, don't even need to bring our own uh, DVDs or anything because there's so much out there. And my personal is The Killing. I love The Killing, it's an American version because it's actually a Danish uh, series. Uh, I know the guy who's who came in with you, uh, Ilko, he's a stage manager. He He's into suits and he's totally frustrated because he's run out all of the <laughs> series. So he's like, what am I going to do next? I don't have a life. <laughs> we go through the day and um, talk about things that we uh, saw in the streets and people we met, um, fans we've spoken to. 
and uh, just have a great time actually here in America. It's a, it's a different way of traveling because distances are f way longer for us and you know for us it's already like a big drive. When, when I drive from my hometown to Paris it's five hours and I'm like Ooh, five hours, you know, most people are in Holland. But he was like, yeah, I came over and I just drove seven hours. It's just close by. He's like, close by, it's like seven hours. Yeah, okay, not that close by, but still it's not very far. <laughs> and I was like, what? No, but it's pretty cool. I think it's really awesome that you guys drive all the way to see us. So that's um, a big compliment to us. Well, thank you for checking out our tour bus and uh, maybe see you on the road. We still have some shows to do. If you want to know more about us, check our website, www.woodin dash temptation.com and we've got all kinds of social media like Instagram, Twitter, we're out there so check us out. See you later. Cheerio.